In this problem, we're looking at a special form of an AND compound inequality uh, in which it's written with the expression in between two values. So in this case, we're looking at, the, the problem is the same otherwise. We're looking at solving the inequality and then graphing the solution and writing the solution in interval notation. But it's given in this form where negative 5 is less than or equal to 4x is less than 7. When you have the expression in between two values like that, it simply means negative 5 is less than or equal to 4x minus 1, and 4x minus 1 is less than 7. So we can just set up both of those inequalities in an, uh, in an and compound inequality, and then it's just like the previous problems that we've looked at thus far. So we put negative 5 is less than or equal to 4x minus 1, and 4x minus 1 is less than 7. So if we solve the left-hand side of the compound inequality, we'd add 1 to both sides and end up with negative 4 is less than or equal to 4x. Again, we still have our and. Divide both sides by 4 and we get negative 1 is less than or equal to x. And then with to put the inequality on the left-hand side, we just switch the sign and switch the values. So we s switch the direction of the inequality, so it's greater than, x is greater than or equal to negative 1. And again, these are still and. Now solving the left-hand, or the, excuse me, the right-hand side of the inequality, add 1 to both sides and we get 4x is less than 8. Divide both sides by 4, and we get x is less than 2. And now we want to graph our compound inequality, so we'll graph the left-hand side first. x is greater than or equal to negative 1, so we'll start with, let's say, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, two, three. We'll go ahead and copy this down here because we know that we're going to graph it as well. And last but not least, one more. <coughs> this way we can just get it out of the way in the beginning because we know we're going to have three number lines here. Now the left hand side we have x is greater than or equal to negative one. So at negative one we'll have a closed circle or a square bracket. I'll go ahead and use a square bracket. Greater than or equal to, so it goes to the right. With the right hand side of the inequality, we have x is less than negative, or excuse me, x is less than 2. So an open circle or parentheses or parenthesis at x equals 2. And it's less than, so we're going to the left. And then we look for what do they share in common? Where do they overlap? So we look to the endpoints and we see that they overlap at x equals negative 1 and x equals 2. We have a square bracket at negative 1. We have an open circle or parenthesis. I'll go ahead and switch back just so we remember their equivalent. And then in between them. That's what they share in common. And in interval notation, we have a square bracket on the left. We're starting at negative 1. And we're going to, but not including, 2. So we want a parenthesis on the right-hand side. So the solution to negative 5 is less than or equal to 4x minus 1, which is less than 7, is the inter interval from negative 1 to 2.